Hello everybody, welcome to the Nightfall for week 11. We are on Devil's Lair. We got Angry, we got a Light Switch, we got Arc Burn. Probably the toughest combo possible for Devil's Lair. And we're gonna go do it. So, I'm gonna show you guys my gear. Basically the same time, or same thing as last week. Devil you know, Patience and Time, Zombie Apocalypse. I am going to roll with Striker Titan instead of Defender Titan. Just because we're not rushing through this. Although I'm probably going to switch to Defender Titan for the last boss. We'll see. I've, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little apprehensive about this run just because I have heard that the solo Nightfall is not as easy to do anymore because of the patch where basically they buffed uh or sorry they nerfed strikes for three man parties officially so they should be a little less painful to do in a full group but for solo I've been hearing a lot like on Reddit that they made it a lot harder so we're going to we're going to find out um just want to take a second to talk about the the HUD changes and the UI changes. It looks really nice. I don't know what happened, but this game just seems like the colors seem more vibrant. I don't know what it is, but everything just seems a lot brighter. The colors pop a lot more. I don't know. It's just it's looking good. So this first room, you're going to want to watch out for these thralls. They are the biggest threat because their melee attack is arc damage charged. Oh, stop it. So if it hits you, you die. And you don't want to die right here, right at the very start. So, so coming into this first big room. We got a lot of stuff everywhere. Priority targets are the snipers up top. Wizards. Knights, any kind of middle to high tier enemy are the things that we want to look out for. Take out the Vandals, good. Now we're going to look for the Wizard. There you are. One, two, good. Take you out. There is a Knight down here. The Wizard and the Knight do arc damage, so be very careful. But everything else is pretty easy to deal with. Oh, we do have one Captain. Damn. All right. Can't be uh, can't be lackadaisical like I just was. Couple of things will ruin you. Where is he? All right. So after we start the event, after I kill this last vandal, there we go. We're gonna run all the way back to where we started. And we're going to use that main set of stairs to, sorry, just checking this. We're going to use that main set of stairs to kind of protect ourselves. So run all the way back. We are going to have a captain coming out of this end doorway right here. I'm just going to chuck a nade, big damage. I'm just going to whip out the heavy, get rid of them very fast, and then we're going to drop down. So things to look out for. First thing, the captain. The reaver captain. Looks like he missed his jump. Okay, there we go. And where'd he go? This is Dreg. I, I don't know. He's just having so much fun jumping. Anyway. Um, the reaver captain, main priority. God, I'm an amazing sniper. So good. After that guy is dead, we got the two Reaver Sniper Vandals. Non-stealth, so it's okay. And then we're gonna have a bunch of dregs down low. Be careful, they are not the melee kind, but they will totally come up and punch you either way. Now, after you kill a lot of these dregs, oh, it, it happened early, we're gonna have a lot more spawn in. Like, a lot more. So you need to be careful. They do have the shotguns, which is, you know, it's not arc. 
but it's uh, it's still pretty brutal. So just be wary of your of your dreg kill count. You know, keep tabs on how many you've killed. If you've killed a lot, then uh, you're gonna have more coming in behind you. Watch out for those shock grenades. So after we kill all the dregs down here, we're gonna have shanks. And shanks are very bad. They are scary. And I really recommend using heavy, using grenades. They're gonna spawn out of this door. They're gonna spawn out of the door down low. See how scary they are. They're just shanks, but they murder you. So we have the four up here, and then we have the four that spawn out of that doorway down low. They will float in the middle here. We're just gonna come around here and uh, chuck a nade. That was not the best. You wanna be as conservative as you possibly can with your heavy, because it's not juggler, it's not as easy to get ha heavy. So you have to kill the shanks, we're gonna head back to our spot, we're gonna have another captain. Nade, boom, take him out super fast. We also are going to have vandals coming out of this door. If you can keep eyes on it, this is a, uh, a major, that was a major. If you can keep eyes on that door and heavy them down before they get to become a, a, a much bigger problem by all going over there, that's the ideal. Other Reaver Captain, if you're standing far enough away, they just won't even move. But uh, angry, make sure that they don't flinch. So there's always the possibility of them moving. So you need to be careful with that. These noble vandals. A lot of them. Very scary. If you see, Well, you should take them out all at once. Okay, so if you guys heard that little, like... I didn't do it right, but that noise... That means stealths are here. And they are very, very mean. Because they're all melee... They're all melee vandals. They will one-shot you. They only spawn in the middle, or from that middle doorway, so as long as you're hanging out back here, you're all good. But remember that they're always not they're not always on your radar. They pulse because of the stealth. It's once every five seconds. So just because like, oh it's clear, nope. Blink. Let's watch the radar. Blank. So you gotta just... You gotta do little peeks. Take out one or two at a time. So now... We have our next, next set of problems. If you're not careful, we have a... Stealth Sniper down low. And then I believe we have a Stealth Sniper over to the left over here. So there's still a target down here. That's a drag. I want to be very careful. Because the stealth... Oh, actually, no, sorry. We killed that one as it came out of the doorway. So we do not need to worry about that. If you don't kill it as it comes out of the doorway, like we did right as the uh, the phase started, uh, then you're going to have to worry about that one. But after you kill that that wave, or all the, all the things there, it's only one wave of adds, or two waves of adds, rather. After you kill all the stealths, you're pretty much golden. So out of this door, we're going to have the captain. I was late on my nade. And we're also going to have the stealth vandal. Take him out. And just play it cool. Where'd he go? I am scared. Can we shoot him through that? Oh, we can. Sweet. Oh, boy. You can see how fast they'll just nuke your health bar couple shots here and there and what stinks is angry doesn't flinch him be sure to move after every burst of theirs now you can see a lot of crap oh come on you can see a lot of crap off to the left on my uh, on my radar. Don't be too afraid of this, because over here to your left is just a wall. It's on the other side of the wall that you need to be uh, afraid of. So we have another stealth sniper down low. Take it out. I believe we have two more reaver vandals. We do. They will be fighting the fallen right now. This is the way with the, both the fallen and 
Or, I'm sorry, they're, they'll be fighting the Hive. They are the Fallen, because I'm smart. Uh, but after, you, you know, you poke them once, they'll start looking at you. So take out all the Fallen first. Everything that you can do. Watch around this corner. And, uh... That wizard is priority numero uno. Because it does arc damage. That's always fun. And as soon as you kill this wizard, you're going to have two more wizards spawning out of the door directly in front of me. That, this door. So, I don't know if you want to have rockets prepared or what. But you should have something ready. Or just at least be aware. They should come. Nope. Maybe it's after I kill a few more things. Mmm. There they are. So I got one of their shields really low, so I'm just going to switch to heavy. Thralls, very scary. Keep your distance. I'm going to ignore that heavy ammo for now, because it's only going to replenish a few bullets instead of a lot. Stop moving. Alright, I think I'm just going to go heavy. Alright. So, only after you kill everything do the shanks spawn. At least I'm pretty sure it's after you kill everything do the shanks spawn. So here, you know, a lot of things do um, void. Careful of those thralls, but void damage, not a very big threat. So, go in and just kill everything. I think that's everything, so I'm just going to back up just in case, was it? No, it was not. One more thing. Let's see it. I'm actually going to scoop this special ammo before we start. So now we need to run. I'm going to chuck a nade. I'm just going to keep running because I'm very out of position. Alright. So we're going to have eight shanks total. They're going to spawn out of the same doorways. This doorway. And then the doorway down there. As soon as you kill the sixth shank, number six, is when... Whoop. Is when we're going to have ads. Lots of very scary ads. So as soon as you blow it up, you're gonna run. I'm just gonna run right now. I don't know if I killed enough. I did not. But the shanks will hang out. They'll hang out here the entire time. So I believe that's six. So I'm gonna run now. Yep, running away, running away. A lot of stealth, a lot of bad. Just run, run, run. Gonna reload. Now, not this wave, but the wave after is the boss wave. So here, we wanna kill a lot of stuff. But we're going to have another wave right after it. Here it comes. Gonna nade it. Some good damage. And then pretty shortly after we kill a whole bunch of stuff here is the boss wave. And I'm just going to run my butt out of there. So this should be the, or the boss should have spawned. So we're slowly, very slowly, going to approach. There he is. Nade. Big damage. Take out as much as we can without getting flanked. I just don't like these shanks. They scare me. I can tell you right now, if the boss comes up and punches you, you're dead. Definitely want to heavy the crap out of him. But as soon as he's dead, you're done. But be aware that uh, the enemies don't despawn in here. So, you know, don't just run out like, oh, I killed the boss, and there's like 9,000 more adds in here, and then you die. Because that's not fun, because this is the hardest part. Although with Arc Burn... Mm, maybe Sepix is going to be the hardest part. 
Devil Walker, definitely not the hardest part. So, careful of the vandals on the stairs. Don't want them to double, double up on you. God, I'm the best sniper. I'm so good. So good at snipes. There we go. One more drag up top. Alright, so that didn't seem too different from the norm. In terms of being more difficult. We'll see. So here, Sepix, or not Sepix, the Devil Walker. Good god, it is late. You're just gonna hang out in the back. And the only thing you really need to look out for is the spawn of a captain and a vandal coming out of this door. Gotta keep eyes on your radar because if you're back here, they added that spawn a very long time ago to make sure that people just don't camp back here. But otherwise, you're just gonna unload as much damage as humanly possible onto the boss. So there's our Captain and Vandal wave. Vandal's getting away from me. Captain. I don't know if I killed the captain. I, don't, I think I did because I don't see him. And he's not making any noises. Good. And we're just back to the boss. So you just want to check that. Oh, God. Every time you, uh, you bust a leg. Watch out for this arc cannon, too. Let me just shoot it off. It's probably a waste of ammo, but it's literally the only thing that can kill you on this entire fight. There we go. I mean, the rocket can still totally kill you, but... Alright, there's our spawn. Nade. Boom. Sweet. Did they drop any special? No, they did not. So we're going to use an ammo pack. Should always have ammo packs on you. I really hope this worked. Yeah, yeah, did. Is it still down? It's still whinging? There we go, it's back up. And yeah, it's dead. So that uh that wasn't too bad. So we will now approach. The throne. I don't know what it is about my nades and, and chucking them into this pit. I just suck at doing it. I always expect it's going to bounce, but it always lands in the water. And, and sure enough, every time, every time after that, I'm like, well, this time it's not going to land in the water. Very careful in your approach. Those snipers are still very deadly. The shanks still very deadly. Don't want to use too much of my sniper ammo. Except we do want to snipe the one vandal in this top corner over here. He's a pain in the butt because of that invisible wall. <laughs> what else we got? Nate! Oh, that's going to hit something. There we go. Shanks, I'm not even going to mess around. Just using it as a scout rifle. Why not? You know, like a nice slow firing. If you got Thunderlord, Thunderlord works great. You totally use Thunderlord. I'm just gonna snipe. Two, three. Still a couple more things alive though, so be careful. Should just be some dregs though. One more. And everything should be... Well, now everything's dead. Alright. Two Sepix. Now Sepix himself... Or itself... Not really a big deal. Adds very, very much a big deal. So we're going to want to pop as much damage onto Sepix as, as fast as possible. 
I don't know if we'll be able to kill them before the ads show up. But we are going to need to kill ads. And unfortunately, a lot of them are major ads. So yellow health bars taking a lot less damage. So might need to do a little bit of a fast forwarding on this one. Depending on how slow I'm making this happen. This will be an interesting speed run for sure. Now remember, the boss fight does not start until you kill everything. So if you want to leave like a couple of ads up to go fetch some ammo, totally do that. Just be careful, because you know they're uh, they're still pretty big threat. So, but we are all full on ammo, or as full as we can be, unless something drops a heavy, which it did. Yoink! So now we're gonna start. Now we're going to be using this corner a lot. I'm sure there's some sort of cheese spot that I don't know about. We're not going to use it. Well, cheese spot beyond what I'm using. We're just going to pop as much damage and we'll get a little damage evaluation after that first wave. So that's not going to be enough to kill him in a, in a few bursts. So we're going to have to play the long con. So right now I'm going to run away because this first wave is shanks. All shanks forever forever and ever and ever very very scary so we're just gonna hang out in this little room and take our sweet time now be aware that if the boss teleports right here you gotta back the hell up even these dudes I'm just gonna nade back up and now we're gonna have even more ads coming after that so we're just gonna try and get damage on the boss right now you can take a few of his shots not a big deal you cannot take much of the enemy though or the ads that spawn and I am seeing many things already so we're gonna back up Like I said, all of these are majors, so it sucks. Gotta watch out for those shock grenades. Reload downstairs. This is scary. That's why I like the armamentarium so much. So, uh, we might be doing a little bit of fast forwarding here. Just because I'm probably... Not gonna have too much to say, other than be super careful, and killing ads is gonna be a very long process. So, I'd say uh, let's do a little fast forward. So, boss is right here, just back up. You don't wanna get stuck in its beam. Beam is bad. B for beam is bad. Now dropships coming in. That's just a lot more bad stuff. Whenever you have Sepix in your sight, you want to be laying damage. I'm going to use another special, I think. Yes. So we got five minutes now before I can use another ammo pack. Now sometimes, you're gonna get some ads downstairs. These are regular ads, not anything scary. Well, in terms of health. And sometimes they can drop ammo, which is nice, because you're gonna need it. You can see that stuff was kinda on my radar for a while. Didn't know really where it was, decided to check downstairs, there it is. So, you always, you know, the, the ammo always looks super tasty and tempting. Odds are, probably not a good idea to go for it. These dregs are the bane of my existence. 
Might have been too far. Nope. Just because they can show the throw those shock grenades. And uh, they are something not to be messed with. So we're just pa playing the patience game. Come back over here, you stupid eyeball. A lot more ads now. We got another wave of ads. Check downstairs. Nothing there. Oh boy. I was not expecting that good of a nade hit. I'm gonna capitalize. If he got a rocket launcher, I'm sure that would have been nice. Gonna reload. Playing it very conservatively. Notice I'm not using my heavy ammo at all on Sepix. It's all for the ads. The ads need to die. Remember, whenever he shows his stupid face, it's not even a face. Whenever he shows himself, you get damage. Should get him. There we go. You kind of heard that second dropship dropping in as we got his health pretty low. Well done. If the second dropship comes, the second dropship comes, you got to take care of it. If you got lucky like we kind of did at the end there, I found the calming. If you get lucky, like we kind of did at the end there, you can just kind of burst him down before he goes anywhere. I would not suggest a, uh, a full YOLO to get him, because all it takes is a couple shots, and you're dead, and you don't want to waste all that time, right? How long was this? This was th almost 30 minutes. You know. So this, this is more about playing the patience game. You know, if you're wandering around out here, it's not, it's not a very good idea. I would certainly like to do it with a full group, just, you know, just to play around with it, but patience is going to be king here. How is it? Yeah, that's pretty good. I know it kills me a lot in PvP. Very, very high fa uh, charge rate. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me. For week 11, your nightfall, tour through Devil's Lair. Have a good day, everybody, and thanks for watching.